Do you ever get writer's block? Uh, not really. Love comes along and you sing in a song like a bluebird. I'm Fred Hyatt. I'm the editorial page editor at the Washington Post. I've been at the Washington Post since the late 19th century. Phoebe, the problem is Trump thinks he's doing a wonderful job. Well, that means he's not reading us enough, I guess. Les Nessman. Fred, did you just emerge from your fur-lined fallout shelter two miles below the Earth's crust? Why would I line my fallout shelter with fur? This one is just confusing to me. Liberal Patriot 909. I'm sorry, but is this a joke? This is the level of analysis from someone leading the editorial pages of the Washington Post. Now I understand why you gave ink to that hateful grifter, Hugh Hewitt. Fred, sweetie. Is this coming from one of my relatives? Donald Trump is a trust fund grifter. He has never been an outsider. His only agenda is his vanity. He cares nothing about anyone from himself. These are easily verifiable facts. Do us all a favor and resign your post or stop playing stupid. Wow, I really didn't think that the um, thrust of things today would be that I'm too nice to Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> it's not an accusation I've gotten much in the last few months. Honestly, I, I don't think you can read our editorials and think uh, that we have any illusions about the president's qualifications or uh, the job he's done so far. Here's a long phone call. I don't know why I bother calling. And I've called a couple of times. I've been a subscriber through me and my father over 50 years. Well, thank you for that. Really value our subscribers. You are obsessed with Donald Trump like Captain Ahab was on finding the white whale. And in that pursuit, you're willing to sacrifice your crew, your ship, and your own life because you're blinded by the obsessive hatred. You're sick. You really are sick. If it wasn't for my wife, I'd stop the subscription. Okay, well, I take back the thank you to you. I thank your wife. I appreciate what you're saying. I think there is a danger for all of us that we will become um, too obsessed uh, with Trump. And there are a lot of other important things going on in the world. And I think our country, for better or worse, is a, at a really important hinge point where basic values are at play. I think a certain amount of obsession is rational.